Well, I've been making videos about, I made several videos about a troll that moves by itself. It was a troll that was sitting on here. It's on a glass globe. It started moving, and it's not this troll, by the way. It is this troll here. It was moving by itself. Sorry, my voice is croaking today. She'd be facing forward, just like this, when I got up. And then halfway through the day, it'd be like that. Now, as far as I know, she never went all the way around. I'm not sure, because I used to always set her back a bit of panic, you know, like, what is going on here? Mm -hmm. So what I did is I thought, well, I'll try a different troll on there. Um, you can see how he's positioned. Now, when I went to bed, he was directly facing me, like that. He ended up a good quarter turn. But the weird thing is, now I'll put her back. The weird thing is, this troll turns like this. I'll have to turn it with my hand. And, weirdly enough, this troll turned like this. Trolls are top heavy. Turned like that. That turn went, that troll went counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. This one always goes clockwise. If I put her back right now, probably by well, the middle of the afternoon. I got that wrong. If I put her like this, let's put her back. It's freaking me out. If I put her back like this by this afternoon, I'd find her like this. Now, I would have said, oh, something to do with that glass, or it had to be like vibration, or how could vibration do that with a troll? But then, you know, saying, okay, this is the control, we're going to do this. And then seeing it go like that. Oh my god. How can it be going in the opposite direction? The only thing I can figure out is there's a vortex. There has to be. But it's not always going in, in, the, in one, a consistent direction. Well, what do you think? I just, oh. I mean, this is All Saints Day, right? And I believe in Mexico, this would be the Day of the Dead. They have parades, they have special candies, sugar skulls. Colorful costumes of skeletons. And it really is. It's the Day of the Dead, and it's creepy to us. When I went to Hawaii last time, it was right around Christmas. They had a, I turned on the local TV, and they were having a Santa Claus parade in pitch darkness in the middle of the night. It was around 2 in the morning, and they were having a Santa Claus parade. There was no sight of Santa Claus. It was... Polynesian figures that were quite <laughs> spooky. <laughs> they weren't trolls, but they might have been. Um, yeah, spooky. Spooky figures. Like some of my figures are a little bit spooky. Uh, I, I keep saying I'm going to do a yarn doll tutorial. And I don't. I will one of these times. So these guys are fun to make. But you got to be careful what you do with them. I discovered how easy it is to make a noose. And that's a leprechaun. <laughs> In plastic. I cut that guy out by hand. So anyway, I don't know what's going on. Um, and they say if you <coughs> play around with symbols that you don't fully understand. I don't know if these guys are symbols. They seem pretty cute. These guys have fallen over quite a bit. And I know my cat doesn't really like them. <laughs> stays away from them. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Maybe I did play around the symbols a little bit too much. I'm certainly not going to tell you about that and what the result was. It was pretty scary. But I just had to report that these weird things are going on. You know that trolls are turning. 
they're turning. But the weird thing is, a different troll will turn in the opposite direction. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice again. Now, if it's like a turntable effect from vibration, which is all I could think of, it's sane and rational, this guy should have gone this way. He went a quarter turn. He didn't. He went the other way. So, what the hell is going on? Like, you know, I've got symbolism here, but so what? Everybody's got that, eh? I thought. I've got Egyptian Bastet cat, so I've got Buddha. Another Buddha. <laughs> a couple more Buddhas. This is belonging to my grandmother. She had it for what came from China, a missionary and brought it back. Ended up with it. I don't know what's been going on here, but I know it's not a it's scary. I think all I can think of is a vortex, but the trouble with a vortex is you would think it would just go one direction. I've never heard of a vortex turning around, spinning around backwards. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I need to call somebody. What do you think?